inhale life, exhale cinema. And art imitates life. People say a picture says a thousand words. Since ancient times, paintings have been reflection of thought process of the individual and society as a whole. Paintings show revolutions, wars, upheavals in society, its leaders or individuals. India had a very rich tradition of paintings such as Kangara School, Bengal School and Company School. India also boasts of famous artists like Raja Ravi Verma, M. F. Hussain and Tayyab Mehta. Film and Television Institute of India, Pune, a premier creative institute, hones artists of all sorts. Various walls at FTII are adorned with murals, graffiti and paintings, trying to share an idea. Let us see how the people at FTII perceive and interpret these paintings. Can you identify that painting, sir? Oh, that one is the, the, the famous painting from the Mother India, the legendary film in yeah. the history of Indian cinema. Why do you think it's painted here? I know why it is painted here because uh, uh, last year we had this NSFA, National Students Film Awards, you know. For that purpose, this uh, the whole campus was painted, painted quite hurriedly. So this is the outcome of that, uh, that time, you know. Do you think there was any thought process behind putting this particular painting at this particular place? So, I don't know the choice of place, why it has been put here, not other places, it's quite debatable. Yeah. But uh, uh, the question is that, yeah, it is there, you know. Now that the painting is here anyway, how do you feel about it? I think any painting is a good painting, wherever it is, uh, I feel good about it because uh, let it be. Although there is cinema coming on the video, but. Uh, is the ultimate reality today. Cinema is on television, cinema is on video. So you feel that the painting should be in uh, sync with the theme of the building or the function of the building itself? Absolutely. Absolutely. There has to be. Are you in support of paintings being done in FTI? Uh, I am in support of paintings uh, done in FTI, but not in the manner which has been done now. Sir, can you identify these paintings for us? You can see the Riti Ghatak's uh, portrait also there. So here uh, they made a couple of uh, steel films, uh, steels from uh, Satyajit Rai also, Riti Ghatak's also. Even you can see um, one um, first steel. Uh, first one is actually from uh, Magadha Katara, one of his masterpieces by Riti Ghatak. But it's not exactly a replica of that painting or photograph because it's artist imagination also mixed up or you can say influenced it's a quite natural thing that artist imagination also comes in between the that subject also. So uh, the second one is also by it's in by uh, Satyajit Rai's film, uh, like Opu, the small Opu crossing that uh, 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 bamboo bridge uh, kind of thing. So. If you had a choice to paint these again, suppose imagine these are white walls now. Yeah. If you had a choice to paint pictures here again, what sort of pictures would you put here? Obviously related with um, film, ah. film. Mm. And uh, my personal view is actually you can think of some uh, regional, some masterpieces. You can create because it's a, it's a place where actually a lot of people comes from different different parts of India, and we have a very strong background, the regional film background also. So 
you can think of like there also, like you know, some one frame from Kerala, one frame from Bengal, one from Himachal. Uh, we can we can think of like you know different color. Can you identify these pictures? For yeah. This is Ritik uh, Ghatak, and uh, those are uh, scenes from his films, and that one. The one behind me, and uh, this here is Meghita Katara from the films, and there again in the corner it's uh, Subhorna Rekha. And uh, basically, you have one of a goddess out here with her fiery eyes. That is again a symbology that he uh, kept on that kept on recurring in most of his films, like in Meghita Katara. How, like, uh, if I have to talk about like how in the story the female character, the main character in the film is actually referred to like in a very metaphorically is represented as the mother goddess because she is the sole breadwinner of the family and she does not she selflessly takes care of her family while her family actually breeds on her like it's a very it's not a very it's a very symbiotic relationship that they have in the family uh, that's about it and uh, again okay uh, close as a young filmmaker how does that make you feel uh, Personally, I have uh, no such inclination towards symbols and images that have come from the past. It's fine. It's okay because people keep saying that okay, these this is the same road where Akira Kurosawa has walked and where Raoul Kutard has walked. But it does not make me feel anything different. It's the same. Amidst its cinematic landscape, FTII has not forgotten its founders. The founders of Prabhat Studio are immortalized in paint and their legacy is spoken of with immense pride in the campus. Sir, what are you talking about paintings? These are the founders of Prabhat Film Company. Uh, the Prabhat Film Company is uh, established in Kolhapur in 1929. और 1932 और 33 के दरमियान यहाँ पे शिफ्ट हो गए। कोलापुर का अपना बेस उन्होंने शिफ्ट किया पुणे में। मुंबई को नजदीक सिटी है इस वजह से। तो ये स्टूडियो जो है और ये प्रीमाइसेस है डेट वाज एस्टेब्लिश्ड इन 1932-33। एंड इस आर फाइव फाउंडर्स ऑफ़ दी प्रभात फिल्म कंपनी। देर आर फाइव फाउंड in the center, you will, uh, his Mr. In the center uh, is V Shantaram, Shantaram Vankudre. Uh, 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 that photograph is, that painting is uh, Keshavrao Dhaibar. He was generally used to be a cinematographer of Prabhat Film Company. That was Mr. Saheb Mama Fattelar. He was the production designer of the Prabhat Film Company, art director and production designer. He is Mr. V G Damle. He was also a production designer, director, and then turned to the sound designing and sound recording. And he is Mr. Vishnu Panta Kulkarni. He was the fifth uh, founder and fifth owner of the uh, Prabhat Film Company. He was a businessman. I think he was a uh, was sad jeweler, unka business tha. But he was a uh, like um, supportive person in terms of finance to this uh, uh, Prabhat film company, made by the art direction student of 2008 and 9 batch and this was made uh, in 2010 on the occasion of uh, golden jubilee year of FTI. This is the founder of Fash. We see all the filmmakers ke painting here, we see no films ke scene here, but in the place we are studying, in the place we are working, उसके उस बारे में हम बिल्कुल नहीं सोचे तो हमारे स्टूडेंट्स को मैंने बताया कि उनके मेमोरी में कुछ यहाँ पे होना बहुत जरूरी है जिनकी वजह से हम आज यहाँ पे खड़े हैं सर अगर आपको एक चॉइस मिलता है अभी कि सारे एफटीआई के दीवार साफ हैं और ये पेंटिंग आप कहीं भी लगा सकते हैं तो कहाँ लगाएंगे We simply asked few students if they could name all the founders and this is what we got. Guys, can you identify the paintings? This is VG Damle and that is V Shantaram. Yes. This is VG Damle. The left post one? This one. Okay. And uh, that is V Shantaram. Okay. And one of them is Patel Alay. You know that one. Though the students might not recall all the founders, they have an idea of their own. Art to them is a non-conformist attitude which dwells on freedom. 
this freedom is very evident on the various walls of hostel. Ma'am, uh, there are so many paintings in FTI that have been done since last year. Mm. Uh, but we wanted to have a special kind of uh, attention towards the paintings that are there in your boys hostel and the other hostels here. So what is your take on the paintings that you see in the hostel? I think they, some of them are uh, quite an eyesore. And uh, I'm not really sure who's done them, but they've been here for a while. So what's nice about it is that it's like people who lived in this hostel did something and left it behind for the other people to come. So in that sense, that's quite nice that it's like kind of a, something from the past. But I'm not sure if aesthetically they really work or not. Some of them are quite nice. So the one on the third floor is quite lovely. There's an elephant inside which there's a yeah. dog and that one's really nice. So one or two are really nice, but Otherwise, I think like, I'm not, I, I don't like them very much. But still, I like the idea of having these paintings that have been drawn by students in the past and have been left as traces of their memories on these walls. Ma'am, uh, given the freedom that is given at TII to express yourself uh, in an artistic way, if you were to paint a painting in this uh, institute, what kind of painting would you like? See, I wouldn't actually paint on the walls because, I don't know, like, I feel that that's too much of a responsibility, like I would be doing something that would stay for a long time and it's also a public space, so it's not something I'd be wanting to do. So what is your take on the other paintings that you take care, like the one of Mother India and, uh, Yeah, those were done for this, uh, the National Students Film Festival. Yeah. So uh, I personally think that they are really bad, like uh, they... I don't know how they decided to do these paintings, but the choice of the images that, are, that they've used is just really questionable. Our brief exploration of paintings at Film and Television Institute of India makes us to conclude that art was there, art is there, art will be there. It's only a matter of perception.